sponsors that uh, couldn't make it, so we want to maybe give that to you, Ira. Okay, I'll give it down to somebody. Yeah, Deanna, I'll see Deanna tomorrow. I'll hold on to this for her. Okay. We believe in education. We believe that the best way to help the most people is learning in school. And we want to make sure that all of our kids are ready to learn. They have all the equipment they need, all the supplies they need, uh, that they're properly clothed when they go to school. They don't have uh, shoes that don't uh, fit right or they have holes in them. We want to make sure that everybody in Illinois is ready to learn with, for the coming school year. And the only way to do that is to work together as a family. Our state is not a crowd of 13 million people where everybody goes in their own separate direction. We're a community of shared values, and those values mean taking care of our kids. I think this is a landmark day for our state. It's going to help parents and families all across Illinois save money through a sales tax holiday on school supplies. Uh, those supplies are very, very important for children to learn. Everything from pens and pencils and note notebooks and many other things that parents have to get for their kids uh, to be ready to uh, for the school year, but also their clothes to make sure they're properly clothed. Uh, all of those items uh, will be available for the exemption from the Illinois state sales tax, which is 5%. This particular sales tax holiday will take place beginning on Friday, August 6th, on that day, and then it'll extend all the way to Sunday, uh, August 15th. It's one of the largest and longest uh, sales tax holidays in the United States. It's designed to get our consumers in Illinois back into the marketplace, back into shopping, back into having confidence in our economy. Our economy in Illinois is on the rebound. We know we have a long way to go, but we're in economic recovery. Uh, we've had this uh, year five straight months of positive job growth. We've had 70,000 new jobs created in our state since the beginning of this year. Now, hopefully, as we have a sales tax holiday on school supplies, that'll encourage some of our retail merchants to hire more people, to service the customer, to make sure that they're there, to help the customer buy these school supplies. We want to get more people working, and we also have to have more consumers with the confidence to spend money in our economy. Because the only way to really get our economy back on uh, full throttle is to have a strong, confident consumer demand. Uh, that is what it's all about. Consumer demand is the fuel of the American economy for many, many years. Both consumers and businesses have been crying out for relief during this difficult economic downturn. The road to recovery in Illinois and across this country goes through retailing and its consumers. And Illinois' first ever sales tax holiday will go a long way to aiding these efforts. Illinois is just a little different as we usually are in that our holiday is exclusively the elimination of the state sales tax, 5%. So if you're in Chicago, the sales tax on these items will still be 4.75%. Other places in the state, it'll be as low as one and a quarter percent. So local governments are not participating in the reduction in sales tax but will be participating in the growth of sales and benefit from higher sales in their jurisdictions, which will increase uh, local tax revenues. President Kennedy, when I was growing up, said, a rising tide lifts all boats. A rising tide lifts all boats. He didn't say a rising tide lifts all yachts. He said all boats. And that's what the sales tax holiday is all about. It's for everybody. It's for that person who lives from paycheck to paycheck, who needs to save 10 or 15 or 25 or 50 bucks on school supplies for their kids. They may have a large family. They got to go out and buy a lot of different items for different kids and different classes. Make sure they have the shoes and the uh, pants and the shirt and in the dresses and whatever they need for school. Uh, all those basic items that are part of everyday life for consumers in Illinois, 5% off because the state's going to not have a sales tax on those items for nine days, 10 days actually, in the month of August, next month. 